Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Today's video is the third update in my Pan That Palette series for 2019. It is my Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the third update and I feel like this is going so, so quickly and I say this in every update video and I probably sound like a broken record at this stage but my god we're getting into October and I don't know where this year has gone. It feels like just two minutes ago we were really excited for the beginning of summer and really getting into it and right now we're steaming ahead towards Christmas and it doesn't seem like that far away at all. I'm really really excited for this month's update. There's a lot to talk about so let's get straight into it. Okay, I'm so excited for this month's update. I've really done really well and I just wanna give myself like a public pack on the pack on the back, pat on the back. I'm in a really hyper mood today, I'm so happy. Anyway, this month there is a lot to share. I'm just gonna put up on the screen the state of the palette in the update last month and the state of the palette right now. And my goal this month was to finish up the shade Vermeer. And as you can see, I have done that. It is all gone. It is completely gone. It's finished. And I wanted to hit side pan on Realga. And I don't know how obvious it is in the photo that I'm showing you, but I haven't quite managed to do that. It looks almost like I've hit side pan, but there's a tiny bit of product just there. So I haven't quite managed to do that, but I have hit one of my goals this month. And I think that the palette speaks for itself. There's a lot of progress here. So I'm just gonna go from left to right, top to bottom, and give you my update this month. So obviously Tempira was already used up, so was Golden Ochre, and now we've got Vermeer used up. This pan is just completely empty. There's no product in there whatsoever. What I will say is this pan looks very tarnished. It looks really quite rusty, but the shadow within it didn't give my eye any irritation. It performed just as well as usual, actually, so I'm not too, um, concerned about that. I don't think that it's a hygiene issue. I just think that the metal has tarnished and it's starting to, I don't know, go bad at the end of its lifespan. These are very, very emollient shadows. So I think it might be to do with the moisture levels in them. Maybe, you know, making the metal go bad. I'm not sure. But all I know is it hasn't seemed to happen in any of the matte shades or anything. It's just in the two foil shades here. I'm not sure if there's any scientists among you. Please let a girl know, because I don't know what's happened there, but it seems to happen to everybody, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not the conditions that I've kept the palette in. Anyway, it's all gone. I'm gonna miss that shade. I love it as an all over the lid shade. I love it as a highlighter, and it is just a welcome addition to the palette. There is actually, as I told you last month, there is not a shade within this palette that I don't like anymore. I like them all. And that is something that's come about because of doing this pan matte palette. I have only enjoyed all of the shades since getting to know it on a very personal basis and using this palette pretty much every single day. Then going on to Bon Fresco, I think I have widened the pan on this shade a little bit, but I've only used it a couple of times in the last month because I was trying to hit my other goals within the palette. Then onto Antique Bronze, I wasn't aiming to use this more, well it wasn't a formal goal, but as you can see there is a lot more use out of that. It's nearly almost completely gone, it's just a little tiny bit at the top there. And I have been using this an awful lot. I've been using it pretty much every single day. I've been using it on my lower lash line. I've been using it with any look it'll go with basically. And it's worked out really, really well. I haven't used Love Letter, I don't think at all during the last month. Or maybe I did a pink look on one day. I'm not sure. I can't quite remember. It will have been the same pink look that I've been doing pretty much the whole time I've been working with the pinks in this palette, so with the macros pigments across my lid. But I don't recall using that within the last month. I've used Cypress Umber quite a few times. I have widened the side pan at the bottom and we're starting to get to a situation where it's gonna look like this, you know, where it's right across and I've finished it all along the bottom. 
and I am making steady progress with that. I do find that you don't need an awful lot of Cypress Umber though. It does pack a real punch with the shade. It's really, really pigmented. You don't need a lot of it. So it is taking a while to make some extra progress with that, but I'm proud of how it's going so far. And of course, I don't want to just use more of the shade than I need. That's just wasting it. I don't see the point of that. Don't want to make false progress. Then with Raw Sienna, you can see, I think that this, it looks like I haven't hit side pan, but I definitely have. And it's widened a little bit. It's getting a bit thinner around the sides here. I'm pretty much the exact same thing with Burns Orange. I'm making steady progress with this. Really, I don't feel like both shades are necessarily needed. I think you could substitute one for the other, but I actually really like both of them. And I'm wearing them both in this look that I'm wearing today. The shades that I've got on my eye are basically Raw Sienna, Burns Orange, Ray Algar, a little tiny bit of antique bronze right in the very corner and then I've got the last tiny bit of Primavera all over my lid. This is also completely used up which means there are now four shades within this palette that are completely gone, nothing left of them and you know, I'm just so happy about that. I'm making such progress with this palette. It's, I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm doing an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I know a lot of people think it's a bit of a cop out because it's really easy to finish them up, but there is no substitute for how motivating it is to use them up so quickly. It just makes you feel so good. And you know, you're seeing that steady progress all the time and it just keeps you super on the ball with it and I really like that. Again, I haven't really used Red Ochre or Venetian Red this month because I haven't been doing pink looks. I've tried to keep myself focused on what I'm trying to achieve at any one time and during this month it was to hit side pan on Rialgar and to finish up Vermeer. And just as a side effect of that, of course, I did finish Primavera and it's all gone. So no more lid shades left with this palette. So I am having to now look at using pigments and using shades from other palettes. Warm Taupe, I've made a little bit of progress with this. I've used this about five times during the last month or six times. I've been using it a bit more often. And when I've been using it, I've been using it basically in place of raw sienna or burnt orange, just so that I don't have too much of an orangey shade look. And I'm going for pretty much the same look as what I'm wearing today, but instead of having it orangey, having it more on the browner side. And that has been looking very, very pretty. It is essentially just the exact same look as this, but browner more than orange. Finally, that brings us to Rialgar and you can see some progress, but not as much progress as I had hoped for. I was hoping to hit side pan and hit the very bottom of the pan there. That's not happened. Unfortunately, you just don't need that much of Rialgar. You, and there's no point, like I say, of me digging into the pan and using more than I need because Really, I'm not achieving anything that way and the only person I'm cheating with is myself because I paid for that product so there's absolutely no point in using more than I need. So that is where I'm up to with regards to this palette. So going forward for the next month, my goal is, it's going to have to be, isn't it? Say it all together. My first goal is to finish off Antique Bronze. It's got to happen and that will mean five of the shades would be used up. So that's got to happen. But I think I've got to set myself another goal. I'm going to give myself another month of focusing on something other than the pinks and I'll come back to the pinks I think this time next month and put my focus on them. But I think that I'm also going to um, focus on hitting the hitting more pan on burnt orange and what I kind of want to do is get rid of those like slithers at the sides so that it kind of looks like straight across a bit like what antique bronze looks like. So that's what I want to do with burnt orange and I also want to finish up antique bronze. Those are my focuses for this palette and I also realized when I looked back at my update from last month, I completely spaced on giving you guys an update on the Too Faced Bonbons palette because I am working on this alongside and my first goal was to hit pan on the shade Divinity, which is the white shade. And as you can see, I've done that. What I've basically been using this for since the beginning of the project and now we are three months in, I've been using that to set my eyes every single day. And as you can see, I've hit pan on that. 
I'm starting to get a bit of a dip in satin sheets which is the highlight shade and I've been using that as a facial highlighter in a corner highlight and on my brow bone so I'm making steady progress with those and I think my my next goal with it and I'm not going to do an update unless I hit the goal is to hit pan on satin sheets so I may or may not talk about this palette next month but that's where I'm up to with it. I've hit the first goal by hitting pan on the matte white shade and now I want to hit pan on the um, the shimmery highlight shade. So that's how I'm going with this palette so far. I don't want to give myself too many goals because it would just be difficult to keep on top of them and it is supposed to be fun. I want to give myself enough goals that I've got a direction but without making it too stressful and unachievable to do things with it. So that's where we are up to at the minute. I am going to show you some looks at the very end that I've been doing this month. I've taken a couple of looks to show you um, because I know you guys enjoy that part of the video but I've been pretty much doing the same looks all the time so there are only a couple to see but they are there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!